So let's examine the motion of the moon around the earth and let's make the assumption that the moon is undergoing uniform circular motion. So let's ask and answer the following question conceptually. How much work is required to keep the moon in orbit around the earth? And in general, how much work is required to keep satellites orbiting our earth? So let's begin by examining our diagram. So we have the earth and we have the moon that is undergoing uniform circular motion. So the earth creates a force, it acts on the moon, it creates a gravitational force that in turn creates a centripetal force that acts on the moon, pulling the moon inward. So our moon is accelerating in the same direction as the net gravitational force. And that force always points in a direction that points inward towards the center of our orbit. Now at the same time, the magnitude of velocity remains constant and the direction of the velocity is always tangent to the pathway. So that means because this is a circle, these two force or these two vectors are at an angle of 90 degrees to one another. Now, recall what our definition of velocity is. Velocity is our displacement divided by time. And that means the vector or our direction of displacement is in the same exact direction as the velocity. So our displacement is also always tangent to our pathway. And that means the force acting on the object and our displacement are always at a 90 degree angle to one another. And recall what our, what our work is. Recall that the definition of work is you take the magnitude of the force that acts at an angle parallel to our displacement. And because in this case the angle is 90 degrees, we take the force multiplied by the cosine of 90 multiplied by displacement and we get zero work. So once again, the Earth exerts a force on the Moon that acts in a direction perpendicular to the motion to our velocity of the Moon. Now, since displacement points in the same direction as velocity, by definition, we see that the angle between the force and displacement is 90 degrees. So, work is equal to force acting on the object multiplied by the angle between displacement and the force, the cosine of that angle, which is cosine 90, times our displacement. And because cosine 90 is zero, the amount of work done by the Earth on the Moon is zero. So once again, no work, no energy is required to keep the Moon and in fact any other satellite in orbit around the Earth. And that's exactly why our satellites can orbit the Earth without expending, without us expending any energy.